Welcome to the video on Keyboard Focus Mode. Keyboard Focus Mode gives us access to dozens of single keystroke actions, so no need to worry about modifiers, no combinations to remember, just single button presses on your keyboard that will give us a wide range of actions that are going to really speed up our editing and our mixing workflow. In this video, I'm going to go over a couple of my favorites. This won't be a fully comprehensive video, but just enough to get you started. These will get you the most mileage out of all the keyboard focus shortcuts, so I am going to give the most helpful ones in my opinion. If you find these useful and you're interested in learning the rest of the keyboard focus shortcuts, you can find them in the manual, which you can find with Pro Tools open. Go to Help and go to Pro Tools Shortcuts. This pulls up the PDF for the actual keyboard shortcut manual a couple of pages in, and we will see a picture of a keyboard. And this is our keyboard focus section. So if you'd like to pursue the rest of the shortcuts beyond what this video talks about, you can find it right here in this section. All right, so keyboard focus is denoted by the little AZ button that appears in a couple places on the Pro Tools screen. You find it here, you find it here in the clip list, you also find it down here in the group list. The keyboard focus mode we're going to be using today is called the edit keyboard focus. So you're going to enable it by making sure that this AZ button is highlighted yellow. So here are a couple of the most important keyboard focus shortcuts. I think the zooming in and out is the most important keyboard focus because it makes movement around the Pro Tools session far easier and more intuitive. Pressing the keys R and T allow you to zoom in and out horizontally to your Pro Tools session. In the same way that these arrows would normally let you move in and out by clicking them or dragging on them up top. However, as we're navigating around our Pro Tools session, I always find that clicking on a spot and pressing T a couple times to zoom in is far quicker than trying to move the mouse and get this zoomed into the appropriate location. Again, that's R to zoom out and T to zoom in, centered, of course, on your edit cursor. Another important set of keyboard focus shortcuts are the undo, cut, copy, and paste shortcuts. These are the same as what you might be used to, pressing Command Z, Command X, Command C, and Command V to do things like undo, cut, copy, and paste. So you can still do that. You can still hit Command X to cut this section, and I can put my cursor here and Command V to paste it. But with keyboard focus mode on, all you need to do is single press those buttons, Z, Z, to undo. I can just press X and I can click my cursor here, V, 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 V. And this becomes much quicker so that if I want to get back to the state I was in, instead of looking down at my keyboard and pressing Command to try to find Command Z, I can simply press Z, 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 and I'm there. So especially when doing things like sampling or doing quick editing, using this single stroke cut, copy, paste can be super time saving. Another super important keyboard focus shortcut for me is the ability to trim and to fade the clips with single keystrokes. So I have here a tom track and I want to use this as an example for how you might edit around the tom hits by using these keyboard shortcuts. I can use the key B to separate audio wherever my cursor is. I can then use the keys A or S to trim the clip to the left or to the right. So A trims from my cursor to the left and S trims from my cursor to the right. So again, let's undo by pressing Z and by putting my cursor here, I know I want to get rid of the audio to the left side by pressing A and I put my cursor here and I press S to get rid of the audio to the right side. And the fades, conveniently enough, surround the F key. So you can remember where they are on the keyboard. Let me zoom in a little bit. And to the left of the F key, if I press D, it means fade to the left of the cursor. If I want to fade to the right of the cursor, I press the key to the right of the F key, which is G. So pressing D to create this fade in and G to create this fade out. So let's see that happen a little bit quicker. So I haven't made any edits yet. I'm going to press B to separate because I know that I want to work with just this range of audio. 
zoom in a little bit, and A and S cut to the left and right. So we click and press A to trim to the left, and we click and press S here to trim to the right. And we fade with D to the left and G to the right. D and G surround the F key, which stands for fade, so those are easy enough to remember. Those are all in the same row, A, S, D, F, G. So your cutting and your fading are very quick and easy to remember. If you want to actually use the F key, you can select a range and the F key will apply a fade within that range. Or if you have two clips, I'm going to cut here so that I can crossfade between these. I can then use the F key to create a crossfade between two clips. So let's look at a couple more examples of editing these Tom tracks so you can get in the flow of it. All right, and we finished out the piece, editing the last couple of tom fills rather quickly using just A and S to cut and D to fade to the left and G to fade to the right. Another tool that's super handy in the keyboard focus mode is the ability to move the cursor around the project with the keyboard. You may be familiar with the ability to tab to the next start or end of a clip. So if my cursor's here and I press tab, my cursor moves to the next clip. Let's tab again, we move here tab to the beginning of the fade, zoom in a little bit, tab again, etc. So tabbing continues moving from left to right. Of course, if I'm on tab to transient mode, this works slightly differently as Pro Tools engine then tabs to the next detected transient. Let's turn that mode off because we want to navigate the project around clip boundaries. So let's go back here where we made our edits. And instead of just being able to move forward in time with tab, let's move all around the project. The semicolon key acts as the center of a set of arrow keys. So if you imagine the semicolon being the down key, the P key being an up key, and the L and the apostrophe being the left and the right keys, this is a new way that we can navigate around the project. So I can tab left, left, I'm pressing L to go left, or I can go right with the apostrophe in the same way that the tab key works. Now I can also go up and down tracks with the P and the semicolon key. So P going up a track and semicolon going down a track. So in this way, we can quickly move around the project and I can find where my previous and next edits were on the tracks adjacent to where I'm working. One last keyboard focus shortcut that I want to demonstrate is the ability to nudge with one key press. So let me change my nudge value to something more useful. I tend to like it set to about 10 milliseconds. And by selecting this tom hit, if I wanted to shift this forward or back in time by that nudge value, 10 milliseconds, I can simply press the comma or the period keys, which also have the left and the right carrots on them. That makes more logical sense to me with the carrots to the left and right. So by pressing comma, I'm nudging this to the left 10 milliseconds every time. And pressing period, I nudge it to the right 10 milliseconds every time. I could also nudge by 10 times the nudge value by pressing the keys one more outside of the comma and period. So if I want to instead nudge by 100 milliseconds, the key to the left of comma being M nudges me 100 milliseconds left and the key to the right of period, which is the forward slash, nudges me forward by 100 milliseconds. Again, these have just been a couple of my favorite keyboard focus shortcuts. And if you find them handy, please check out the rest of the Pro Tools shortcuts guide and go ahead and read through the rest of the keyboard focus shortcuts and what they can do for you. Several manufacturers make a keyboard where the keycaps are labeled with all the keyboard focus shortcuts for Pro Tools. This is the same keyboard that you've been looking at on screen as we've gone through these shortcuts. This may be handy for some people, so I would suggest taking a look if it seems like it would be useful for you to be able to remember the keyboard focus shortcuts a little bit better. Or perhaps you could even just use this image as a graphic to help you learn them or visualize where these things are on the keyboard. This is the end of the keyboard focus mode video. If you find keyboard shortcuts continually helpful, feel free to continue watching videos in this section where I go over a couple more keyboard shortcuts that are handy for other types of Pro Tools control.